What, why do you why do you think um, societally speaking? And I'm not mm-hmm. trying to get like super deep, but yeah. I mean, I'm just like I'm I'm always caught off guard by people who tend to believe that we should recognize any and all efforts as if they are all deserving of a trophy. <laughs> and, and so I'm like, well, it defeats the purpose of Thank you. the emotional Thank you. the emotional equity in 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 value and yeah. impact yes. it has in recognizing the best of the best. Yes. Not because they're the most talented, but how many times how many times in our lives, right, in a very mediocre Division three college football career on my end, yes. and here's a guy who played in the NBA at the highest of levels mm-hmm. um, representing our country, but how many times have, have we found ourselves in situations where, you know, people feel that they've been discounted or, or not recognized, even though you're kind of like, yeah. dude, you just kind of suck. Your attitude sucks. Your effort sucks. Your yes. preparation so sucks. We lost. And, and yes, and yet here you are yes. challenging mm-hmm. the environment or the culture you're in. When, what do you think that's doing? I mean, I gotta, I gotta it's, think. It's this. ruining us, society as a whole. The main thing with me is when do we become so passive about everything? Yes. When when do you start getting? Uh, a participation trophy just for participating. No. So you're you're preparing our kids for failure when they step outside of these sports arenas and really step into the real world. Yes. Because nobody cares about you once you step outside those doors. And I try to explain that to kids all the time. Like even with, with my team, um, Team Michigan, I brought Team Michigan back our um, – Started in 1979, Rocky Watkins created okay. Team Michigan. Uh, Magic them was actually yeah. their first team. Okay. Right. And Rocky's 80 something years old right now. He's having some health issues with, you know, Alzheimer's and stuff like that. And I just explained to him, I said, hey, man, I am not going to let your legacy die. With all the people you touch in your life through the game, through the game of basketball, mm-hmm. I just can't sit back and let that just fade away and people mm-hmm. forget about who you are and what mm-hmm. you represent mm-hmm. and what you've done for all of us. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, hey, I want to be the legacy holder for Team Michigan. Mm-hmm. So I started taking my kids to uh, junior NBA at 12 and 13 years old mm-hmm. playing, but I want to be Team Michigan. Yeah. But again, when we're playing, practicing, preparing to go play in these tournaments and all that. Like you said, you know, it's like, I'd never accept a second place trophy. I'm like, no, you're not going to give my kids a second, a participation yeah. trophy. Yeah. You're not going to give them an awards. Yeah. So even with what I do in the summertime with kids with DC Elite, no. It's a championship trophy and that's yeah. it. Because you know what? You lost. We got to go get in the gym. We got to go get better. Because you know what? We're going to see those guys again. So we got to go get better prepared. Well, and I think it says a lot. Um, I think it says a lot when we do not consider the long-term consequences yes, exactly. of giving people a false sense of security Yes, that second or failing yeah. or it's not. It's okay. Or most importantly, just not giving our best. Yeah is acceptable yeah right and so that's where it you know i i just firmly believe we have an obligation to expect the best from our people including Mm -hmm. our children and the earlier we can communicate that in a healthy and safe way the better for them right yes